How you guys? It's your girl Mia here with another message from Spirit. All right. I hope everything is going well for everybody. Okay. There's still some, you know, some uh, some stuff settling in the dust and in the background. You know, uh, a, a, a lot of things being worked out. Okay. A lot of things that are. Uh, like putting final stamps on everything within these next 24 to 48 hours, okay? So, y'all just hang in there and be patient for you karmics. Listen, y'all still been doing the most, okay? Spirit got a message. Y'all keep playing the game. They got a real message for that ass today, okay? I've already shuffled the uh, cards, blessed the decks, and cleaned this spot. So, let's see what Spirit got to say. Bottom of the deck, courthouse. Listen. Somebody is about somebody is about to go to court or somebody is under judgment or somebody is about to go before a judge. Yes, uh about the the path that they took. Okay? Listen, somebody is about to literally like go up against somebody. Like somebody is about to stand in front of like a judge and Something is about to change in that pathway. Listen there. Whoever this main male is. Whoever this main male is. Somebody is about to. Something is about to change. Whoever this main male is. This is somebody who has a lot of power. A lot of control. Okay. And see that one up top. One is the magician in Tarot. You know what I'm saying. The magician is, is like the master. You know the magician is you know somebody who's manifesting okay and whoever this main male is this main male has been using some type of uh magician type energy to do some things okay and y'all whoever this main male was he was so good at this shit oh my goodness he was so good at this shit y'all he thought he could not be touched. Whatever game he was running, if he was stealing, he thought he was the best at it. If he was lying, he thought he was the best at it. If he was running a business, you know, he thought he was the... Whatever this main male was doing, he thought he was the best at it. And the only reason was because number one, at the top of his head, he was using magic. He was using some form of manipulation to do. That's the only reason he got to the top is because he manipulated his way all the way to the top. And once he figured out this manipulation game, he took it to a whole nother level, y'all. Yes, indeed. He almost mastered it, but he didn't count on the master of them all stepping down, the most high. Whoever this is, they didn't count on the most high stepping in. Yes, indeed. Check that out. Two and nine is eleven imprisonment. They didn't count on the most high stepping in and put some and, and putting some locks on some shit and locking them down and stopping them dead in their tracks. The most high has stepped in. I'm the number one player in this game. Okay? Like, if this is... It, even if this main male... This main male could also be like a group of people. Okay? Like, like the main people that... that do the negotiating for like a, a big company or something. Or like the... Uh, you know, like the board of directors for a business or something. These, This is like the main, this is like the 10 elite people, okay, who mastered this game. And now the true master has stepped in. And now the, the, the master of manipulation is locked down, okay? That is a wrap. All right, y'all. My spirit guides are saying, like, the FBI or the DOJ or, like, whoever was running this, like, ring. Let's say if this was a, a ring of thieves. You know what I'm saying? A group of thieves that, you know, that play the game on different people in order to, to steal money from or or get these people to send them money. The top, up to my, the, the mastermind. Is in jail, y'all. The mastermind behind this whole operation is in jail. And this master and whoever this person is, they've been in jail for about two days. And people are just now starting to find that out. When this person went to jail, this person didn't tell nobody. This person didn't tell nobody. And this person still didn't want anybody to know they was in jail. You know what I'm saying? But see, like that little rant, it's like this person told somebody that they were in jail and this little rat went back and told everybody that this person was in jail. Okay? It's almost like it's almost like when this person this person 
this main person, y'all, this main person has so much power. I'm talking about even with the FBI, even with the DOJ, even with the ATF. Like, this person has so much power that they thought they couldn't be touched. And when this person got picked up and realized they were going to jail, they wasn't even worried because, hey, I got the FBI in my pocket. I got DOJ in my pocket. I got ATF in my pocket. What the fuck I'm worried about going to jail for? So this person went on head to jail. You know, didn't put up no fight, no nothing. They just politely went. And when they got in there, this person realized, game over. Okay? This person thought he, they were the master manipulator. The master magician. When they got in jail and got behind bars, they realized the real master has stepped in and ended all that manipulation. Child, this person shocked down a motherfucker too. This person in jail don't know what to do. And this person scared to call anybody because if he calls somebody and somebody find out he in jail and then they find out like what what they he in jail for. Like this person in jail for more than one charge. This person is in jail right now for like a ring of thieves. Okay, and this main person is in jail, and they once they pick this person up, it's like they ran. It's like they, it's like the like the FBI kicked in this main male door this morning and picked them up, or two days ago and picked them up. Okay, and when they kicked in the door and told him what his charges was, he wasn't worried about it because this FBI coming to get me. Shit, I got FBI in my pocket, so he got up, put on his clothes. And, and, and politely went on with the FBI, but he had no idea that it, that it was an ending to all the manipulation. He had no idea. They showed up with a search warrant. And after he was taken off to the jail, they started searching the house. All the evidence that, these, the, that the FBI needed. And all the evidence. It was literally laying on the table for them. They didn't have to search. They didn't have to... <laughs> They didn't have to open their damn draw. It's like once they walked into the office of whoever this main man was, everything was laid out on the table. The ledger, who who where money was going, where money was coming from, uh, who was being paid for what, how many people were like everybody's name. And it could have been anywhere from like 10 to 12 main players. Okay. I keep hearing elite 10. Elite 10. There's 10 main players in this y'all. I keep hearing elite 10. Elite. Elite. This is. I, I just keep hearing elite y'all. That's what my spirit guys keep saying. The main person of this elite 10 in jail, baby. Yes. And whoever, listen, and once this person got in jail, this person been in jail for about two, maybe three days. Okay. The, listen, once this person got to jail, they started, they found out what the charges were. They started answering these questions. And the, the more questions they got asked to them, the more this person knew. All right. I'm, I'm caught. The more this person knew because this person it's like this person was also manipulating the FBI in some way. Or or had like a lawyer or something that was manipulating or keeping the FBI back. But this lawyer, this lawyer has been caught up for some and this lawyer in jail too. Surely. Yes. And after the lawyer went to jail, then this main person, the main person of this elite 10, they went to jail too. Okay, and this whoever this main person is, baby, they stress the fuck out. And so is this lawyer. This lawyer finna sing now. This lawyer know all the outs and ends. And this main male made sure this lawyer knew what was going on because he thought, uh, client privilege or, or you know, he, he felt like his lawyer couldn't, couldn't, you know, his lawyer couldn't go against him. Whatever he told his lawyer was confidential. So he told his lawyer the truth. About all the shit. So his lawyer been knowing it. And this law this been his lawyer for maybe 30, 31 years. So this lawyer know everything. Okay. And see this lawyer. 
what he don't know is once he got picked up, he didn't know his lawyer was already in jail. And he didn't know his lawyer was already starting to break things down for the FBI. And I already had been, the lawyer been in jail for about four days. About three or four days. Spirit say three days. Main male been in there for two. And within these next 24, 48 hours, the rest of the players are finna be wrapped up. But this lawyer has been in there giving the FBI all the game. And once the lawyer gave the FBI, and there's some type of evidence that this 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 lawyer got. This lawyer directed these the, the FBI somewhere to get a very valuable piece of information. Okay, and when this main male got picked up, and they started uh, questioning this main male, they started asking this main male questions they never asked this main male before. They picked this this main male up numerous times, but this lawyer always got him off. This lawyer always come in with some sleek talking shit, and he always walked. They can never make nothing stick. Now that's why he wasn't worried about going to jail. Now that he he went to jail, now he in jail, and they asking them these. They started asking them these questions. He realized that they was asking him questions that nobody knew but his lawyer. So he calls himself, want to ask for his lawyer. Listen, <laughs> but when he called his lawyer, <laughs> he going to be calling his lawyer. And his law, he going to find out from a family member of this lawyer, like the wife of this lawyer, that he in jail. <laughs> From a family member or another partner in a business or something, this main male finna find out from somebody else that the lawyer is in jail. That he tell, after the the see he was so cocky. He when the police wanted to ask him some questions, he was like, "Yeah, I answer." Because he done been through this so many times. Okay, like I said, this lawyer been his lawyer for about thirty one years. He done been through this so many times that he already know the ropes, so he finna go and answer these questions so he can get back to doing what he doing. But these lawyers, these police start asking him questions about things that they've never asked him about. And these are things that he shouldn't have, that nobody knows. But he know his lawyer know. So, he want to call his lawyer now. Now they're asking him some real questions. He want, I, I don't want to answer no more questions. I want to talk to my lawyer. So, they let him make a phone call. He, ain't been, he wasn't able to get in touch with his lawyer, okay? Then the next day, they let him make another phone call. He ain't, he ain't been able to get in touch with his lawyer. This next phone call he make, he gonna get in touch with somebody that's gonna tell him, check this out. He been picked up. He in jail. And he been in jail for a few days. I'm not sure what's going on. Okay? But whoever this lawyer is, this lawyer losing everything. And this lawyer knows that. This lawyer is losing everything. That's why this lawyer singing like a bird. This lawyer losing everything. And this lawyer so stressed out, child. Like, this lawyer so stressed out. They literally, like, had to get somebody, like, check his blood pressure and come in and, and, and give him, like, a little quick look over, like, a quick checkup because it's like the lawyer been doing this for so long. This, like, th I'm telling you, this, like, 30 years. This lawyer has been this man's lawyer. And this lawyer has been covering up shit for so long. And it's like... He can't cover it up any longer. It's like the FBI, like, they got one piece of information, and the lawyer knew once the FBI had this information that it was over with. So the lawyer, he, you know, he a lawyer. He know how this shit go. So he he, he want to cut a deal. This, this lawyer want to cut a deal. So this lawyer, like, look, I give you the game, but you got to give me a deal, okay? And y'all know how they, y'all know how this shit work? She... <laughs> They 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 gonna cut him a deal. They gonna cut him a deal. He gonna do some fuck, some fucking real time though. But they gonna cut him a deal. But they finna bury this motherfucker here. The, this main person. They, they, they finna bury the shit out of his ass. And he's so fucking arrogant. And he think he ain't finna. You know he think ain't no shit. Ain't shit finna happen to him. They finna bury his ass. Listen. See. Listen. He ain't really concerned. Concern is in the other right. He ain't really concerned. Cause he done been through this before. You know what I'm saying? He 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 ain't got no real concern yet until he get this information about his lawyer being in jail. He ain't got that information yet. Yes, indeed. Cause see, he expect the shit to pop out. Cause see, he done left messages and everything. Okay. He done called and left a message. Hey, I'm in jail. This is where I'm at. Once you get this message, come down here. You know, this is like a routine for him and his lawyer. This is a routine. Yes, indeed. 
this main male, they uh, like they expected. He expected some money, okay? It's some money that is supposed to be coming in when that within the next twenty four to forty eight hours. And see, he in jail, and he like, uh, uh, I got to get out of here. I'm expect, you know, he expected some money, okay? He expecting, you know, something to pop out. Okay, and that's what he telling this lawyer. He was like, "Look, I look, I'm in jail. I've been in here for so many days. I've been trying to get in touch with you. When you get this message, call me back. I, you know, I got things that I got to be doing. I got to be out of here by such and such date. There's something very important. Like this person, like this person is really look. We got twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine. Okay, listen." This person is expecting some money. This person is expecting a, a drop or, or like some type of pickup to be done within the next 24 to 48 hours. That's what this person is expecting. Okay. Some money to come in. All right. But all this person is finna get is some jail time. That's what they finna realize that that's all they get. They finna realize that they, this person is in jail now. They won't, they won't walk out of them. They will not walk out of them. They will not walk out of them. By the mother they poverty. They will not walk out of them. This person is so arrogant. He just knows that he finna get out of jail. And he's been calling this lawyer every day for the last two days. Do y'all hear that car? How quick that is? That's how quick he finna find out that this lawyer is in jail. And that this lawyer has turned, has, has given, you know, that this lawyer is being charged with what's go what with a couple of charges and that he can no longer and that he's no longer his lawyer. He finna find that out. Yes, yeah, from an investigator. It's finna be revealed to his ass. I'm telling you, it's finna be revealed to him. Yep. And he gonna know it's been he gonna know the game been put to risk. He gonna know the game been put to risk. He was already a little nervous by the questions that these uh police was asking him because they never asked him these questions before. You know what I'm saying? Anytime they picked him up and, and tried to hold him, you know, he's been a, you know, he done been able to walk out of there on his own free will. You know what I'm saying? But this time he wanna leave, he can't leave. So now he asking for his lawyer. Cause they asking him some real questions now. They asking him some real questions now. He's trying to figure it out. Yes, indeed. Listen. Yeah. And he don't understand why nothing has happened. He it, It's almost like he expecting his lawyer to show up, but ain't no, ain't no his lawyer ain't showed up. And this been going on for two days. This ain't never happened. He called his lawyer, his lawyer in. Boom. You know what I'm saying? He, he's been expecting his lawyer to take some type of action, but he ain't. And now he, he heartbroken. Tomorrow going to be the third day he going to be heartbroken. Because tomorrow he gets the information that his lawyer is in jail. And his lawyer done cut a deal. And his lawyer telling on. Surely. They don't even need. They, they don't even want to talk to him no more. Because the lawyer finna give him everything. Plus, they had a search warrant. They got all the pieces of evidence. And the lawyer is taking the information that the, police, that the FBI got out of this main male's house. And... Showing it to the lawyer and the lawyer explaining it and piecing it together, child. Yes, indeed. They, he, this my man ain't finna get no off. Okay? They ain't even, he said he want this lawyer that he don't want to talk to them no more. So you know they ain't finna go talk to him. You know, that's what people say when they don't want the police question them no more. So police ain't gonna question them no more. Police got everything they need and he finna find that out. He finna find that out. Within the next 24 hours, he finna find that out. He also finna find out that his wife done left him and his wife done cleaned out the house. <laughs> this person wife done cleaned out the house. You listen. Listen. Now the wall. She, listen. She was trying to hold on. She was trying to hold on. Child, she found out what the charges was on your ass. She cleaned out the house and burned out on your ass. Child, listen. And you, th this main male ain't even been able to get in touch with his wife. He been calling and calling and calling. Because he, you know, he, he, he need to get, he can't get in touch with his lawyer. So he been calling his wife, trying to get in touch with his wife. So his wife can do some, like, investigation about where his lawyer is. But the wife found out the lawyer was in jail. The wife found out that her husband going to jail and he ain't coming out because of the charges that he got. And he got anywhere from 21 to 29 charges. And these ain't no little charges, y'all. These some big charges, okay? He got a bunch of, like, federal charges of, like, racketeering, like, like some major charges, okay? And 
his wife found out all about it. And his wife found out that the lawyer, you know what I'm saying? Because the wife tried to get in touch with the lawyer after he went to jail. You know, that was the first thing he hollered, baby, call the lawyer. <laughs> so she was trying to get in touch with the lawyer after the fact, but she couldn't get in touch with him. So when she did get in touch with him and found out, well, she got in touch with somebody that told her that the lawyer was in jail. Whoever this person is, they also told her, look, the lawyer giving him up now. It's a, it, This shit serious. It's a lot of shit going on. The lawyer giving him up because the lawyer finna get some time behind this. And they telling this uh this wife, your husband finna get some time behind this too. This ain't no joke this time. She she was trying to hold on. She was trying to hold on, child. She and mother said, uh uh. She got to realize it. Like, cause see, for the last three, last two and a half, three months. This, whoever this main male is, him and his wife, they've been struggling financially because things have been been crumbling down. That, that whoever this main male is, this main male make billions at a time, and for the last almost three months, every day for the last three months, he been losing money. He hasn't made anything. Okay, and they've been struggling, and things have been getting kind of hectic around the house, and they've been fighting about money, and things aren't, you know, things are being get like a beach house got taken, and you know, uh, uh, b multiple cars and stuff, you know, the you know they like got people calling them by all this stuff they owe now, you know, and the wife she was trying to hold on, she was trying to hold on, the wife got some information about them losing this house, okay, and. It's like once this main male went to jail, it's like everything happened. It's like the wife got a uh, uh, foreclosure notice on the house. Uh, cars, uh, she woke up and cars were being repoed out of the uh, out of the driveway. You know, like bank accounts have uh, have been froze. Like, you know, she was trying to pull out some money. You know, you know to like. <laughs> She's so frustrated. It's, she was so frustrated and so confused because it's like she didn't. She knew that there was a, a, a minor problem with finances, but anytime they had a problem with finances, he fixed it. You know, and she was expecting some money to come in. She was expecting some big money to come in, so she was trying to hold on. She was trying to hold on, but once he went to jail, it's like everything fell apart. Because once he went to jail. It was like he was the mastermind behind it. So he knew how to handle these people coming at him for for this house or this car or this bank account or something. He was like, like he knew who to talk to and what to say and what to get what he want. But now that he's locked up, he can't talk to anybody. He can't make anything happen. And everything fell back on his wife. And he, he told his wife that they was expecting some income to come. And it's like... They trying to hold on. Like, it's like this income is supposed to come like within the next two days. Like, he got like a date of when this money is supposed to come. And it's like he just was trying to hold on to this, to this specific date. But he got picked up, you know. And once he got picked up, it's like everything fell in his wife's lap. That. They came and put a notice on the door. They came and repo cars. They froze their bank accounts. It's like everything stopped. You know what I'm saying? It was like they confiscated like everything in his office. Uh, you know, computers, laptops, like all files and stuff. It's like they raided her house and it's like she just couldn't take it anymore. Okay? And she was trying to hold on. She she was trying to hold on. But once she got the information about this lawyer being in trouble with him, she she burned the fuck out. Look, she know. She know. She got the wisdom. She know. She, yep, she know it at least. She know he toxic. She know that nothing is going to come from this. Okay? It's, it's almost like for the last couple months, it's like she's been trying to hold on. And she's been watching everything go down. And she's been watching him do so much crazy stuff. But she's been with him so long, she's been trying to hang in there. And it's like once he went to jail and got locked up, that was like the final straw. She tried now to get in touch with the lawyer and stuff, but it seemed like nothing was going right. And then she finally got some information about the lawyer being locked up and her husband being locked up. And that was just like the final straw for her. It was like she couldn't take anymore. Yes, indeed. Yeah. 
she's no longer offering it. Listen, she hauled ass. Okay? Like, she hauled ass. She ain't, listen. She done burned out. And listen, this main man, he don't even know she gone yet, child. <laughs> he been calling and calling and calling her and calling this lawyer and calling this lawyer and calling this lawyer. And he gonna find out from the investigators where the lawyer is. He ain't gonna be able to get in touch with nobody on the outside. Yes, indeed. It's how I've been put to rest. That's a wrap. He just don't know just yet that he's not getting out of jail. But he still think he's getting out of jail. Yep. He still think he can manipulate something. He still think he the master. He still think he can manifest this way up out of here. <laughs> he don't know that shit been put to rest. <laughs> he's struggling with defending himself. He's struggling with that now because... Nobody has gotten in touch with him and his lawyer ain't showed up. So now he now his his mind is starting to wander. And he and he is it's like a lot of things are starting to run across his mind because he's locked up. He ain't got number of time to sit there and think now. So now he's thinking about like why hadn't his lawyer showed up? He's never not shown up. And why I can't I get in touch with my wife? Like where is my wife? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, he's sad, but he got some hope. He got a little hope. Yes, indeed. He fucked up about the past. He really is fucked up about the past. Yeah, because it's almost like he's really, he really is going through it because there's some money that is about to be like shipped or moved. Or there's some drugs that are about to be shipped or moved. My spirit guy saying it's money. And it, it, there is a situation with a, with some drug shipments. Uh, with somebody waiting on some drugs, that, them drugs finna be caught up. So if you waiting on some a shipment of drugs to come in, package in the mail, something like that, with, with some type of drugs in it, y'all finna be caught up. But this main mail, this main mail is waiting on a shipment of cash. Y'all, this is cash money. Okay? And this is a bunch of cash. Okay? That this, that this main male is, is trying to have, it, it's like this main male got like a bank account overseas. And this bank account overseas, uh, he had some trouble with it. It got frozen. And he got the he got somebody to do some type of work. And whatever they did, it the bank account got them froze for one day. But the, the, the main male, he didn't know that the bank account was going to be another freeze was going to put on it. Once he got the information that the bank account was uh, no longer uh, froze, he made a he made a phone call and had somebody withdraw, withdraw some cash money out of there. And he wanted that cash money shipped to him. And this is a, a, a normal routine. You know what I'm saying? Money being shipped. I'm talking about liter, literally cash money. And y'all, somebody, the, the, my spirit guys are showing me like, boxes like FedEx boxes of money and I'm not talking about no li little box I'm talking about big boxes of nothing but cash money being shipped or being put on a boat or something and this main male is expecting that shipment to come in in like two days so this main male is like he want he, he it, he's really stressing about getting out of jail because he has to be there for his shipment okay he is the only one him and another guy. There are two. There's is him and this lawyer who knows that the shipment is coming in. Okay, the lawyer has already told the FBI about this shipment of cash coming in. Okay, he is this main male is the is the main person who was supposed to be there to receive this shipment. He has nobody else lined up to receive this shipment because he don't want nobody to know that he got this money coming in. He don't want none of his colleagues, friends, wife, or nobody to know that this money is coming in. The, he, uh, the only person he told was his lawyer, and he's going to. He needs his lawyer to hide some of this money for him, and that's why he told his lawyer because that's what this lawyer do hides money from. But this lawyer has already told the FBI that there's a shipment coming in, and the FBI is going to get this shipment. Okay, this is money that has been stolen from somebody. All right, and the FBI knows where this money has been stolen from. The FBI got all the information and all the paperwork because when they raided this main male's house, this main male had all the information out about this one specific person who had a bunch of money 
and this main male found out that this person was about to, this main male found out somebody was about to receive a large inheritance so that main male did some type of work and had that inheritance money wired to one of his bank accounts, like overseas or some, or out of the United States. Okay, and he got all that inform all that information was found that is this. And the lawyer also told the uh the police or the FBI, listen, he stole this money from this person. This this person had an inheritance coming. He found out about it. And some work was done to manipulate that. He got in touch with some people to manipulate that money and have them put that money into another bank account. And that's what these people did. And once everything came to an end in the last two or three months, it took this main male some time to reach out and try to get this money because that account was froze. Then that main male had some work done and this account, it became unfroze. And this main male had some money removed and some money boxed up to be shipped, okay? But the FBI is, it, listen, y'all, the FBI is finna be there to, to get this money. The FBI is finna step in and they are finna take, they are going to take control of this money, all right? This main male, whoever this person is that's delivering this money, they finna get caught up as well. This main male is not going to get out of jail. This lawyer, he's not going to get out of jail. Whoever this other person is coming in, this other person coming in, they going to get picked up and this other person is going to put the rest of the pieces together for this, this account that's overseas or in another country, okay? And the FBI is going to get that money as well. And this money is going to be given to this person it was stolen from, Okay? Somebody had a large amount of money stolen from them. Somebody had a big inheritance coming. And somebody found out about that and intercepted that and had that put into their account. The FBI got all that information. The FBI got every piece of information they need. The lawyer has told them everything. This person that they are going to pick up within the next 24 hours because this money is on the way. This money is, is being transported now as we speak. Okay, and once this money get in, the FBI is going to confiscate that money and arrest that person that's bringing that money in. That person is, is, is wants to make a deal. That person is going to tell everything that's going on, and that person is going to give them the access to that that account that's offshore. Yes, indeed, baby, baby, it's about to go down. Get my met, baby, it's about to go down. Yes, indeed, and listen. This main male is struggling because this main male doesn't know where this practitioner or this karmic is, okay? This main male has been using some type of manipulation with a practitioner or, or, or a real skilled karmic at this, but this karmic, this karmic has been shut down. This karmic has been in jail for about three, two to three weeks now, and this karmic has been shut down. This karmic is sick. All that magic them broke and double back. This karmic has been in jail for about three weeks. Anywhere from a week to three weeks, okay? And this karmic is in bad health, okay? That magic has broke and double backed on this karmic. This karmic is this karmic that has been practicing this 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 type of work, this boot voodoo or whatever it is, whatever manipulation for this this man, this practice this person has been practicing this this manipulation for almost 30 years. For this particular person. And now all that has broken and went back to that practitioner. That that energy has went back to that practitioner and made that practitioner sick. That practitioner is finna die. That practitioner, if that practitioner isn't dead, that practitioner is finna die within the next 24 hours. My spirit guy said the practitioner is dead. This karmic is dead. The main male don't know it yet though. The main male don't know this practitioner is dead. And the main male won't find that out no time soon. But this practitioner is dead. Yeah, it's a harsh pain for ending too. This practitioner is dead. The main male don't know that. He don't know that. He he don't want to reach he, he don't want to reach out to this practitioner because he don't want to use the the phone that he don't want it to be traced or something like he 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 real paranoid now and he want to reach out to this practitioner to see if he could get her to fix this but he want to get out first and then reach out to it he don't know he ain't gonna get out 
And baby, he don't know the practitioner dead, child. Yes, indeed. Ch child, look, a lot of heavy burdens. And all these, all these heavy burdens are finna fall back on this main male. He don't even know it, yet. He don't even know it, yet. Oh, yes, indeed. All because he was, he wanted the offer. Okay, all because he was, you know, he was determined to get that money. And he don't even understand, like, what he up against now. He still doesn't know that the that the that the FBI knows about like this offshore account and this money that he stole from this person. He he still don't know this. Yes, he still think that, you know, he could still manipulate things. See, lying, sneaking and cheating, he still think he can hide some shit. He don't know that everything's been exposed. He don't know. Yes, indeed. He don't know his house gone either. He got a lot of shit that he don't know about. And all this shit is going to land in his lap tomorrow because these police officers are going to ask him, do he want to talk? And these police officers are going to tell him what he's being charged with, okay? And he's he's going to say he's waiting on his lawyer. And let me tell you, let me tell you what the FBI is going to do. The FBI, so glad they got his ass, they're going to let him know, guess what? We got your lawyer too. <laughs> This was destined to happen. They gonna go in there and fuck with him. Listen, we we got some more charges that we 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 bringing on, on you. And he, he, you know, he this main man arrogant than a motherfucker. Do you hear what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, what's the charge? They gonna let him know. They gonna run a list of charges down his ass. Stealing. You know, they they gonna get to talking about a whole bunch of shit. All these charges and this, you know, this main man gonna laugh it out and. and the, the police gonna say, "Uh, when you think your lawyer getting here?" And the main male gonna respond. Then the police gonna say, "Your lawyer been here. He been. We, we got your lawyer. He's under arrest as well. You might need to start looking for your new." And they gonna walk off and leave his ass stuck there. He gonna sit there and waddle in it because he gonna be that. That is gonna be the brick upside his goddamn head when they tell him that the lawyer is in jail, child. <laughs> it's destined to happen that way. Cause when he know this, when they tell him his lawyer in jail, he gonna know that's an ending. <laughs> he gonna listen. He waiting on his ships to come in right now. He's still waiting, y'all. This motherfucker got some hope. Yeah, he's still waiting, child. Yes, it's the cause he know he know he got this money coming. He know what's going like. He still got hope. He he really focused on this money, and he really need to like get out. Or call somebody and and try to have somebody to like get this money. Like he, he he confused. He don't know what to do. But he noticed that this shipment is on the way for sure. And he knows that this is a lot of money coming in. And he it, it's almost like he he steady trying to call his wife. Steady trying to call his wife. He don't know his wife gone. He needs somebody to get this money. He does not want to miss this money. But he don't know he ain't getting out of jail. He don't know it's an ending, y'all. Y'all, this man is crazy. He don't know it's an ending. Yep. He don't, he don't even know that the investigator. <laughs> the investigator go, is going to be the one to get the money. He don't know that. He don't know that. He ain't going to find that out until this investigator get the money. And then they're going to they gonna, uh, transport him to another jail. And when they transport him to another jail, he going to say he want to talk. They're going to take a minute to talk to him. You know what I'm saying? And when they talk to him, they're going to let him know everything about this offshore account, about the ledgers, about all the people he paying, about his lawyer. They're going to they gonna basically just let him know, we don't need you to tell us nothing. Your lawyer done told us anything. <laughs> Listen. Okay? And he got... My spirit guy saying, they go, they go, within the next 24 to 48 hours... There's some evidence that the lawyer is going to uh, give them. Or there's some evidence that they have in custody. And see, right now, they're going through all this evidence with the lawyer. They done came up on some evidence and a ledger of, uh, of, of names. And the lawyer is explaining to them that they've been trafficking uh, women for sex. Okay. Whoever this main male is, this main male is making a lot, was making a lot of money doing some type of sex work. And this main male was trafficking women and children. Okay? And selling women and children to people for sex purposes. Okay? Baby. And this whole ring, 
this whole ring, the, the lawyer is literally breaking it down now. The lawyer is literally giving them all the information they need to stop this period. The lawyer is giving them all the players. The lawyer is telling them, you know, when the, these shipments of people are, or women and children are coming in, where to find them at, like, the lawyer is, like, within the next 24 to 48 hours, not only are these FBI people going to confiscate a large sum of cash, but they're also going to confiscate a cargo full of women and children, child. These people, yes, indeed. Listen, the police, I'm telling y'all, this shit is about to go down. It's a permanent ending. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's a permanent ending. The police are, like, they got all the information they need. They know what times and places and dates that this is finna take place. All this stuff is finna take place within the next two days, okay? Everything is going to be shut down. They have all the information that they need from this this lawyer, okay? They not even worried about this main male. They they getting everything they need to know about this from this lawyer. And this lawyer is the, the two main things. They got cash and they got women being women and children. And these these are two of the main areas that this main male was bringing in a bunch of money in, okay? A bunch of money in trafficking women and children. And it is now, now coming to an end. Okay? It is now, the, the plan, it, like, now the po the FBI are waiting on these, the, the waiting on the money to come in and waiting on the shipment of women and children to come in. That's it. They have all the information they need. Now they're waiting on this evidence to come in and this evidence is coming in within the next 24 to 48 hours. Okay. And after that, my spirit guy saying within the next 24, four hours, 24, within the next 24 hours, not 48, 24 hours. That they're gonna they gonna have control over the money and they're gonna have control over this cargo of women and children that are being shipped in and this main male he going down. It, it, they don't need him to say nothing. The lawyer done told it all, child. Lawyer done told it all, child. Yes, indeed. Listen, and right now, the main male he in jail struggling with his like back and forth in his head like what the fuck is going on. And this main male is wondering why he can't get in touch with nobody. He's tripping because this ain't never happened. Anytime he go to jail, he, he, he gets out within an hour or two. Okay? He's been in there like a day or two. He's confused. He doesn't know what to do. He's steady trying to get in touch with his wife. He's trying to get in touch with his lawyer. Like, the two main people that he needs to get in touch with, no, he can't. And it is driving him crazy. Yep, he's not getting victory in no areas. Yep, he's stressed out. He can't sleep. He keep asking for phone calls and he's getting nowhere and he don't know what to do. He is very, very concerned about this money. Very much concerned. Yes, and he's at a crossroad. He don't know what the fuck to do. He don't know what to do. My spirit guy is saying tomorrow he's going to take some action and reach out to this queen of wounds. Reach out, reach out to, the, to a practitioner. He's going to reach out to somebody because he wants somebody to perform some type of work. Yes, indeed. And, he waiting on his investments to come in. He finna take some type of action to towards this, this practitioner. And he finna find out she did. At least. He finna find out he stuck. Okay. He finna find out he stuck. Yes, indeed. He finna find out that this practitioner has passed away. He finna find out that who the star really is. He finna find out what he finna find out how all his spells got broken. It was destined to happen. He finna find out who shut the practitioner down. This practitioner has been, been running for about 30 years. On this man's payroll for about 30 years. And he's finna take some action towards this practitioner. He finna find out this practitioner dead. And he gonna find out the reason behind her death. Yes, indeed, child. He finna feel some type of way. Yes, indeed. Yeah. And listen. We got two two. He's at a crossroads. He's juggling money. He don't know what to do. And anytime he get in a situation like this, he reaches out to the practitioner. He trying not to reach out to her while he in jail, but he's going to be at it. He ain't going to know what to do. 
because he can't get in touch with his wife and he can't get in touch with his lawyer. So tomorrow he's going to reach out to this practitioner. And when he reach out to this practitioner, he's going to find out this practitioner dead. And then he's going to find out about his lawyer and his wife. It's like everything is just going to, everything is going to come crashing down on. And he's going to know he can no longer work hard. Everything is going to come crashing down on his ass within the next 24 hours. Spirit, say, make sure you say 24 hours, Miss. 24 hours. Yes, indeed. Look at that. Spirit ain't playing. No games, child. Yes, that's the truth. 24 hours. Spirit say, ow. By the time this video get uploaded, it's going to be 22 hours. <laughs> that's the truth. It's going to be 22 hours. Time is running out. Okay? Time is running out for this person. And he is like... He knows this shipment is coming within the next 24 hours. And it's like he he he's he's running out of time and he knows he gotta get something or somebody he gotta get have something done or get somebody to the to the point of pickup so that he could get so that he could get his money. And he's gonna take action towards his practitioner. He's gonna find out she did. Yes, indeed. He wait he, he been waiting on his ships to come in. His ships coming in, but he won't get Yes, indeed. Yes, he can no longer play this game. Look, the investments, they are coming in, y'all. Three of ones waiting on your investments to come in. They here. They here. They here. <laughs> but he's struggling because he needs somebody to be there at pickup time. Sharp. And he don't know what to do because he can't get in touch with his wife and he can't get in touch with his lawyer. So he's going to take action towards this practitioner. I'm telling you. I'm telling you, once he get the news, this motherfucker day is going to be over with in his world. Yep, the whole group. The whole group is struggling. He can't get in touch with nobody because everybody has something going on. Everybody's struggling. Everybody is stressed out. Everybody is running out of time. Like the whole group finna go to jail. The whole group. Not just him and his lawyer. The whole group. The whole group. Charlie. Just as soon as this, just as soon as they pick up these women and children. Because there's a group of women, there's a cargo of women and children coming in. This, this mask, this main male, he needs to get out to pick up his money. And he also needs to get out and check on his cargo. Okay, but he got somebody there that's supposed to pick, the, that's supposed to be there to receive this cargo of women and children. Okay. He got, he got that. He ain't really worried about that because he know he got somebody in place for that. He don't have anybody in place for this money because he didn't want nobody to know about this money. Okay? But the lawyer made sure somebody was in place for this. That's why the lawyer going to tell that shit. Baby, everything got in the open. They can't have a motherfucker. Like, look, investigation. Been, it's been revealed to the investigator, baby. Baby, everything is out in the open, chat. Listen, he can't, nobody can take action. Nobody can take action. All the heavy hitters, all the elite 10, everybody's stuck. Nobody can take action. Listen, 10, the elite 10, the group, nobody can take action. Everybody stood. Everybody stood. Can't nobody move. <laughs> ain't nobody showing no love. The most high ain't showing nobody no love. He got everybody stuck. He got everybody stuck in the situation. And he trying to show people that what he say goes. All right? And the money that was stolen from this person or whoever this money was stolen from, this money could have been stolen. Okay, this money could have been have been could have been taken from one person, or this money could have been taken from a group of people. Okay, but whatever money was stolen, it was stolen from some divine people. Okay, and baby God ain't showing no love. He ain't showing no love to this group. Do you hear what I'm saying? They can no longer take action. Nobody. It was destined to happen this way. Cause the Most High want to show them that that He in control, and you ain't finna fuck over His people without Him stepping in and showing you who He. Baby, the Most High is pissed. He is baby. He got this motherfucker so up, and His plan is coming together and within the next 24 hours. Listen, within the next 24 hours. Do you hear what I'm saying? It's over with. Ain't nobody wishes being for feet. Nobody wishes. This whole group. This whole group. Everybody's stuck. Ain't nobody wishes being fulfilled. Can't nobody move. Can't nobody do nothing. Nobody. <laughs> yeah, all the motherfuckers been left out in the cold. And see, this group of elite people, all they know is money. So all their money been taken. That's why they, yep, they heartbroken. That's how you break people. Uh, people like this that are all about money. 
people like this that have no heart, they money is their heart. And that's how you break their heart, with the, take their money. Now the whole group of elites is broke. Okay, the whole group of, and whoever this, this group of elite people is, these people are like, these people got some real money. Okay, these people money long as hell. All right. And all this money that these people had, I'm talking about billions of dollars, have been taken away from them within the last three months. Th these elite 10, they ain't elite no more. I don't give a damn what they say. They ain't elite no more. They broke. They stuck. They losing everything. Houses, cars, all that stuff. There is no more elite 10. They didn't get victory. That's a wrap. It's over with. Do you hear what I'm saying? And within the next 24 hours, everything, all doors will be shut. Least I can't make this shit up. All doors will be shut. That's the truth. King of Swords, that's the truth. All doors will be shut. They can no longer take action. I don't even know what that is. Listen. Especially, listen. With this sex magic, with this with this, this sex work, they will make it some real good money. In, in, in this nine of pentacles. Nine of pentacles. They will make it some real good money trafficking women and children. Real big money trafficking women and children. It's over with now. It's over with. Hey, y'all, start paying attention to the world news and CNN and all this stuff because you finna see about that. Yep, they can no longer come in quick. Yes, indeed. It's an ending, baby. It's an ending. Pay attention, y'all. Yes, they all stressed out. They all, they all like got anxiety. They all are scared. They All these people are finna start going to jail and they're going to jail for this sex trafficking. They're going to jail for trafficking women and children. The money has already been confiscated that, that these people have stolen. Okay? Because once this, listen, once these people money stopped about three or four months ago, once the elite 10 money stopped, then they started with this, this sex trafficking heavy. Okay? Because they needed this money. That, like these people are living lavish lifestyles. And the, it, it, it takes a lot of money to maintain this. So they they amped up their, their sex trade. They amped up trafficking women and children and started charging like more money. This is crazy. You know what I'm saying? And that was the only way they could bring money in because it, whatever organization, whatever group of this is, they got stopped some way, shape, or form. They were bringing in billions a day and it's like they went to sleep and woke up and that had came to an end. That had came to a complete stop literally overnight. And this main male didn't know what to do. So this main male, he jumped on something else. All right, this sex trafficking, okay. We need to we need to do more of this to bring in money. This brings us in money. This is what we're gonna do. Okay? And he's and now not only is he finna get caught up for whatever money he stole, because this main male stole a large lump sum of money as well. Okay, but this group of this group of ten, this group of elite, don't know this man male stole this money. That's why he didn't want nobody to know this money was coming in. He did this on his own behind the scenes by himself, and he didn't want this group of people to know he had that type of money stashed away or that type of money coming in. Cause the all of them broke now. All these billionaires, all these people with these billions of dollars, they broke now. Shit, find a dollar in their pocket, they gonna fight your ass for. Do you hear what I'm saying? And this main male didn't want these people to know he had this much money offshore or being hidden because everybody was struggling, okay? So he was trying to, like, hide the fact that he had this money. So he, he did this in, in secret. He didn't want nobody there. Now, he don't have anybody to pick up his money. He, he's stressed out. He don't know what to do. He can no longer come in. He don't know what to do. He's stuck. Yep, that's the truth. He's stuck. He don't want to call none of these elite 10 because if, if if I call them and tell them I got this type of money coming in, they're going to take my money. They, they You know, he, he looking at it like, damn, then they're going to know I got all this money here and they're going to feel some type of way. And he don't think they're going to do right by this money. So he don't want to call none of them. So he's still trying to call his wife and his lawyer, but that's going to that's finna end for his ass here soon. <laughs> Them phone calls finna end for his ass here soon. Bottom of the day, horse pain for ending too. <laughs> they go that 10. It's gonna be a horse pain for ending for this elite 10. It's already, we got 10 here, 10 here, 10 at the bottom of the day. It's already been, shit already been popping out. And we got the 10 of wands over here too, y'all. Listen, these elite 10, all love stressed out. Listen, all love, listen. 
all love them struggling. All love them struggling with heartbreak because all love them know they finna go to jail. Didn't I say all love them going to jail? I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Just wait. Just wait till this shipment of women and children come in. It's just as soon as they get this shipment in, they're going to pick the rest of these motherfuckers up. Yes, indeed. They're going to come in quick. Come on with it, spirit. They're going to come in quick and pick the rest of their ass up. Yep. They can no longer come in with that stupid shit. Okay? They can no longer, baby. Listen, I'm telling you. She, they can no longer come in and stop this shit. Everything is healed. Okay? Everything is healed. Everything is fixed. All truths have been come out. All truths have been put out there. And everything is balancing out in this situation now. And there's nothing nobody can do about it. But just accept the way the cause like. Because everything is balanced out now. Everything is balanced out now. And the top practitioner is dead. That's a wrap. That's a wrap, okay? Charlie's at least look, yep. Yeah? So they struggle. These people are struggling with the secrets that are about to come out about the things that they did behind the scene, okay? Because our secrets are coming out. This, this lawyer, he already running it. He, he, this lawyer ain't shut the fuck up since they picked him up. And he been in jail for about three days. He just been running. <laughs> he been giving them all the details, all the players, all the ins and outs, all the big people in charge, the whole elite team. He get, baby, he is singing like a bird. Do you hear what I'm saying? Child, yep. He taking action. I'm telling you, he ain't playing no guys, yep. On the whole group. <laughs> Spirit say he taking action on the whole group. He ain't leaving nobody name out. Boy, y'all is something else. Boy, Carmen turning on, on, on the Carmen. Boy, ain't that some shit? Listen, listen. You Carmen did all that shit. All that shit. And y'all had something. Y'all plot. These Carmen's plotted and planning it up against a lot of people. Not knowing that people were behind them plotting and planning. It. Yep, they ain't get shit. Child, this Carmen can't get no motherfucking thing. All right? This Carmen... All that, all that stealing, all that, like this, this main man, he stole a bunch of money from a lot of people. Okay. A lot of people. And the crazy part about it is these people that he was finding out that was getting these, this inheritance or money coming in. He found out who these people were. He found out the information about these people. He got these people information and he used that information to steal their money. And he kept a list of these people names and how much money he got from these people. So all these people getting their money back. He's so fucking stupid. He the child. Yep. The investigator got it out. Everything been revealed. <laughs> yes, indeed. He had a crowd. This motherfucker don't know what to do. I'm telling y'all. When he find out what's going on, he ain't gonna know what to do. When he find out all the information has been given, he don't know what to do. Listen. Listen. He know he stole a lot of money. And he know he had this, whoever this person is, he's been stealing for quite some time. And I'm talking about hitting some real big million dollar leaks. Not no little few dollars. I'm talking about some real big million dollar leaks, okay? He's been stealing some real heavy duty money, okay? Now, he knows that there's difficulties ahead because it's the end. He knows he finna get caught. He know it. Listen, he know he finna get caught. He know it's the end. Yes, indeed. There go another 10, 10 of penalties. In the fucking reverse. He was waiting on this money, wasn't he? Early. Do you hear what I'm saying? He was waiting on it. But look what Spirit say. He ain't get it. He ain't get it. He ain't get, do you hear what I'm saying? That money is finna go back to to the people that he stole from. That money is finna finna be sent back to the people so that they can be so that these divine people can get back on their firm foundation. Okay, this this person stole from divine people. Okay, a group of divine people, a group of people that the Most High. Uh, that a uh, group of people that the most high set up, you know what I'm saying, to do something for them. And this is money that, that goes to this group of people. And listen, they stole from this. That, it's, it's almost like they found out one person would get some money. And then that one person led them to another person. That one person name led them to another person. And they found out that it was a group of maybe 10 people, okay, that was getting a large inheritance. And this main male figured out how to manipulate all their money. Each one of these people money into his own account. 
And he kept the ledger of it, dumbass. Yes, indeed. Yeah. Okay. And then these people, he, he, he acted like he was helping these people. Okay. Maybe one or two people found out what was going on and he acted like he was helping these people. Or one or somebody mentioned that something wasn't right. So he act like he was offering love, like he was helping these people. And all the all while he was lying, still manipulating these people. Now he being manipulated. He fucked up about it. Yes, he's been caught. He has been caught. This motherfucker just sitting there thinking about all he done done. Yes, indeed. He can no longer come in with that quick communication. He can no longer talk fast now and get out of jail. And he confused about it. Do you hear what I'm saying? He, he confused. He, he he trying to, it's almost like he was so used to playing some type of word witchery game to get himself out, out of trouble. And now it's like the game that he was running, it ain't working no more. The game he was playing, it ain't working no more. And he don't know, he don't have a backup plan. Because that game didn't always work for him, so he would use that. That shit don't work no more. He never knew that it wasn't going to work no more. Yeah, yes, look, he's struggling with communicating. He's struggling with finding somebody to get this money. And this is stressing him the hell out. Because he want this money. Y'all, he want this money. Yes, and they look. The high priest. He know. He knows that his secrets have been revealed. Yes, he knows that he's not moving forward. He knows that. It's like certain stuff that the that the police started questioning him about. It's like once he asked his lawyer, he been sitting there thinking about them questions like, okay. They asked me this and they ain't never asked me this before. So he want to know what the police officers know. He want to know what these investigators know. He want to know what information the FBI got and what evidence they got. Because he don't know yet. He don't know yet. But he about to find out here soon, child. Ooh, wait. Yes, indeed. Listen. Yes, as soon as he take action. He finna take action. This next phone call he, he try to make, he ain't going to be able to reach out. He ain't going to be able to get nobody. So he going to reach out to this practitioner. He gonna reach out to this person that he always go to in order to get a situation manipulated to work his way. He gonna reach out to them, yep. And he gonna and he gonna you know he gonna try to show something. You know, it's a group of them. It's it's at least two two people he could reach out to. Okay, two main ones that he could reach out to. Maybe a mother and a daughter. Okay, or a father and a son, or a father and a daughter. But it was two main people he could reach out to. He's going to find out that. The practitioner is dead, and either the son or the daughter is in jail. Child, he finna find that out quick, fast, and in a hurry. It's finna be revealed to him. Shit, yep. It's finna be revealed to him about their relationship, okay? It's finna be revealed to him. Look, he trying to hold on. I'm telling you, it's finna be revealed to him. It's finna be revealed to him what, what's finna take place. Shit, it's finna be revealed to his that, yep. And he gonna need the strength to get through this because he is not gonna get out of jail. So, Elite Ten, if you're watching, Hey Huncho, he in jail, he ain't getting out. Lawyer, he in jail, he ain't getting out. Lawyer telling on all you motherfuckers, all right? So get your shit together and get ready because in the next 24 hours, I'm sorry, Spirit say by the time I upload this video, it'll be 22 hours. In the next 22 hours, some shit about to hit the fan and all y'all about to be round up. All y'all about to be round up. My spirit guy said the cash has already been confiscated. And... The women and children, uh, this cargo of women and children about to be confiscated. And as soon as this women and children, as soon as this cargo land with these women and children in, everybody else going to jail. All right. So, brace yourself. Get yourself ready. Within the next 24 hours, for for you who got family and kids, tell your kids you love them. Because let me tell you something. You elite team, when y'all get picked up, y'all ain't getting out. This is Mia. Peace.